A new law may allow as many as a million people, mostly Marines and their families, to sue the government over contaminated water at Camp Lejeune. CBS 2's Catherine Herridge tells us the law is a major change for vets and others who say they suffered illnesses as a result of their service at the North Carolina base. How old are you in this picture? I was 19. Bruno Teixeira was already a Marine. Did you spend a lot of time working with the water at Camp Lejeune? Every day. Teixeira worked in the mess hall at the coastal North Carolina base for three months in 1986. You were exposed to potentially toxic steam. How many hours every day? Two or three hours every meal, maybe? Maybe eight, nine hours every yes, day? Yes, every day. The U.S. government acknowledges that from 1953 to 1987, nearly a million veterans and civilians were potentially exposed to dangerous chemicals in the Camp Lejeune water. In some areas, levels were 400 times what safety standards allow. Nobody told us anything about chemicals, but we did notice that the water did have a, a strange taste and smell. You guys want kettle corn? The father of two says he's not a smoker or a drinker. After a severe okay. stroke in 2015, his doctor blamed the toxic water. Did you feel a sense of betrayal? Yes. We were serving as Marines. We were taking care of others, but we expected our own people to take care of us. The Department of Veterans Affairs internal watchdog found a third of recent disability claims for Camp Lejeune veterans were mishandled or wrongly denied. The VA turned down Teixeira's disability claim, saying it did not find he had maximum exposure. They hired an expert, so-called expert, that reviewed my medical files, never spoke to me, never examined me. Why did you get involved in Bruno's case? This one really breaks your heart. Senator Cory Booker from Teixeira's home state, New Jersey, says veterans deserve more. In many ways, they've been poisoned as a result of their service, and yet they were denied. This is what we call baby heaven. A CBS News investigation revealed stillbirths rare childhood cancers and other illnesses among Camp Lejeune veterans. Did the CBS investigations have impact? God, yes. You expanded people's empathy and helped to add fuel to the demand that Congress do something about these injustices. In August, the Camp Lejeune Justice Act was folded into new legislation that expands VA coverage for toxic exposure illnesses and opens the courthouse doors for Camp Lejeune families. Why are you suing the government? For damages, I mean, what they caused. We were innocent. We didn't know anything about this. So what do you say to critics who say this is a money grab? Well, I'll let them be exposed to toxic water for about three months and then let them get back to me. That's honorable discharge. So. Like many veterans interviewed for the CBS investigation, Teixeira had no hesitation about his service. I love being in the Marines. I would do it all over again, cutting out Cap Lejeune. I wouldn't set foot in that base. The Camp Lejeune water claims are shaping up to be one of the largest mass litigations in U.S. history. The Navy told us 14,000 claims have already been filed. Citing the ongoing litigation, the Navy is not commenting on the size of potential awards. Catherine here at CBS News, the Pentagon.